Then we, then we come back to the question around agency risk. A sector-based process, I think, will seek to construct the risk in the portfolio and then select a component so that it will diversify active risk, but at the sector level, usually by approaching, uh, appointing a number of different managers in each sector. Now, if you multiply that by the number of sectors, you're usually going to end up with a very large number of managers. That was the case with T Corp, with these three organisations coming together. So the second change that we've really been able to make is to streamline the portfolio and have a significantly smaller number of relationships, but that are deeper and more strategic in nature.